do you catch a French art thief? Who's yanking Miley Cyrus's chains? Why is the NFL full of glee? And does the B and B T stand for Bieber? For everything going on in your world this week, this is Top Story Weekly in five, four, three, two, 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 one. Sit down, do it. Good evening. Here's our top story. A hooded man broke into the Paris Museum of Modern Art last Wednesday and stole paintings worth nearly $613 million. French authorities are telling citizens that if they come across the thief, they are to immediately surrender to him. <laughs> Italian police have charged several pizza places in Naples with starting fires in their ovens using wood from coffins. In their defense, the restaurants point out that the same practice has been used for years while making tombstone pizzas. <laughs> Floyd Landis who was stripped of his Tour de France victory in 2006 after testing positive for performance-enhancing drugs, admitted on Thursday to cheating. After learning that Landis is a cheater, Sandra Bullock married him. <laughs> Scientists have discovered a gene in DNA that gives certain people a much better chance of living to 100 years old, even if they indulge in an unhealthy lifestyle. Scientists have named it the Keith Richards gene. <laughs> Miley Cyrus' jewelry line is being pulled from shelves at Walmart after reports that the jewelry is highly toxic. Said a Walmart spokesperson. Yeah, uh, poor bad. Uh, as a precaution, from now on, we're going to keep her jewelry along with all of her other toxic merchandise <laughs> in the CD section. <laughs> <laughs> According to a new study, people experience far less day-to-day -day stress once they turn 50. In fact, older people only feel stress when it looks like Matlock may not crack the case before the end of the episode. <laughs> Spike Lee has designed a limited edition absolute vodka bottle that captures the essence of Brooklyn. It will stand in the shadow of a much larger bottle designed to capture the essence of Manhattan. <laughs> And now, where hard news meets Hollywood, here with the entertainment news is our own Cosmo Coenga. You're welcome! You're welcome! You're welcome! You're welcome! <laughs> On Friday, Bono was rushed into a hospital in Germany for emergency back surgery. Doctors say Bono developed a back problem after years of lugging around his huge ego. <laughs> <laughs> announced that they will air an hour-long episode of Glee after next year's Super Bowl, which means it will be the greatest day ever for gay football fans. <laughs> <laughs> Actor Charlotte Lewis has alleged that when she was 16 years old, Roman Polanski sexually abused her in, quote, the worst way possible. Replied Polanski, uh, correction, Charlotte. Uh, the worst possible way is when you drug, rape, and sodomize a 13-year-old girl. At least, uh, that, that's what I've heard. I, I don't know. Wouldn't know firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Scorsese announced in Cannes that he will be making a documentary film about the life of George Harrison. The film will focus on the time when Harrison was a mob enforcer working for Robert De Niro. <laughs> what? <laughs> and finally, in an interview on the Ellen DeGeneres show, Ellen tried to cut off some of Justin Bieber's hair. The incident marked the first time Ellen has ever tried to scissor a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmo. Uh -huh. <laughs> MySpace has announced a plan to simplify its privacy settings. The plan is to go out of business. <laughs> According to a new report, being bad at relationships can be good for survival. In related news, Jennifer Aniston will never die. <laughs> she has a rough time with things, yes. A new study finds that treating Tourette's syndrome with therapy is about as effective as treating it with medication. The study was performed by motherfucking cocksucker ass bitches! <laughs> 
A former NASCAR driver was arrested on Monday morning in Orange County after leading police on a 50-mile car chase. Police were able to catch the driver when they realized that if they stopped chasing him, he would drive by again in three minutes. <laughs> A Minnesota resident has been crowned the tallest man in the United States. The man celebrated by giving high fives to nobody. <laughs> A new study suggests that using Viagra may lead to long-term hearing loss, especially if you enjoy sticking your junk in women's ears. <laughs> And now with an in-depth look at one of the week's big stories in a segment that's twice as important as AC360, Philip Wilburn and TSW720. Thank you, gentlemen. Woo! I like to stay on top of things, and I don't know if you know it, but the BET nominations came out this week. That's right. And teen sensation Justin Bieber was nominated for Best New Artist. Now this didn't sound right to me, so I wanted to get to the bottom of it. So to explain himself is BT President Stephen Hill. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, thank you for having me, Philip. Thank you for coming. Now, Stephen, there's been a lot of criticism by, about this nomination. Yeah, that's very short-sighted, Philip. I'm telling you. Justin Bieber, his music has crossed the color limit just like hip hop has crossed the border. I mean, you know, his, his music, it has rhythm and the lyrics. I mean, listen to some of these lyrics, these lyrics. Baby, 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 oh. <laughs> baby, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, he's a regular Jay-Z. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. His music, you know, it speaks to our people, you know? And I just gotta tell you, I mean, oof, you know, when I hear his, his sounds, we got other nominees, of course. We yeah, got other nominees. Yeah, I wanna talk to you about that. Best female R&B vocalist, Reba McIntyre. Mm, yes, her, <laughs> her female empowerment songs just really, mm, it's just talk to our audience. Yeah, 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 but what about this one? Best actress, Betty White. Oh, she was great in SNL, she was. But even her name is White. Oh. I'm <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I seem to remember a, a very popular singer who was very soulful by the name of Barry White. Am I wrong? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize. Mm -hmm. but, okay, best movie, Julie and Julia, come on. <laughs> best male R&B vocalist, John Mayer. He did a Playboy interview that said he doesn't even like black women. Well, I've got to tell you, there's something I'm not crazy about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Hill, but these nominations are a rejection of everything that BET stood for. Well, you know what, Philip? Uh, you put it like that, I, you're right. I mean, we've lost touch with our roots, and uh, you know, we've lost sight of what BET's all about. So from here on out, BET, we're going to give awards to Hoochie Mamas, infomercials, and reruns on Martin. You put some Monique in there, I'll be with you. All right, all right good deal. President of BET, everyone. And finally, I don't need that one. And finally, John Shepard Barron, the inventor of the ATM, died on Friday at age 85. Services are open to the public, although there will be a $2 service fee. <laughs> For Top Story Weekly, I'm Philip Wilburn, and I forgot to TiVo lost tonight. Good night! <laughs> <laughs>